Hey guys, Jacob here with Equal Supply. Today we've got the Pentair Intel Center and we're gonna update your firmware via Wi-Fi. Stay tuned. All right guys, and we're back. So we got the Pentair Intel Center today and we're gonna do a Wi-Fi uh, firmware update on this thing. So it's always a good idea to update your firmware on these because obviously there's a patch that Pentair will come out with that might have some new features or it'll fix some bugs that they've had in the past. Uh, we have known personally firsthand that some of these updates have fixed some key issues that they had on these things. So we really do appreciate that Pentair stays up to date on these. Uh, so first things first, this is the Wi-Fi version of an update. So what you can do is if you have the up and down arrows and you know you're connected to the internet, you can actually just update your whole system wirelessly. You don't have to plug in the thumb drive to do it manually. Uh, we'll have a separate video on how to update it manually. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt, but it's uh, this is really easy. So all you gotta do is go to settings, scroll all the way down to where you see advanced system configuration. So then you got that. And now I'm gonna go down to system. And then you see the button that says firmware update. Check for update. Boom, we got a new version out. Pretty awesome. A new update has been discovered and would like to download and install the update. This will only update in the outdoor control panel. All other panels will have to be updated manually. Yes. So now what it's gonna do is gonna download this update, preparing to update, and the system will automatically reboot when it's updated. So as you can see there, it turned off, now it turned back on. We are loading, please wait. So as you can see here, just like I said, so a version 1.040 is fixed multiple expansion panels update. Uh, it fixed fake version of OTA testing. It's just fixed a bunch of stuff. So I mean, they can go down, you can see everything that this update, this particular update uh, fixed. So fix crash when scrolling through select aux. So they really, they gotta go through things and they fix the stuff that people are having issues with, which is really good. So highly recommend getting these boards updated. Uh, Updating it wirelessly is always the best way to do it, in my personal opinion, because of how fast and easy that was. Um, but yeah, I'm Jim with the Pool Supply. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below, and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.